inspired by the Masters project. Um, so last week I started this demo. I think I started in the morning and then carried it on in the afternoon and then did another session in on my lead class. So then I've done a bit more work in my studio because I quite enjoy it. So uh, the idea of this was something sort of taking inspiration from this Van Gogh painting. Um, but interpreting this scene of um, South Church Hall no, South Church Park, so just near where I live. So, but trying to interpret it in the kind of Van Gogh style. So it's quite a nice, nice idea, quite a nice project. Um, and I think I'm almost there. And the, and the nice thing to do, it's quite nice coming away and just looking somewhere else. Um, I'll move that back a bit. That's okay. Um, yeah, just seeing it in a different environment. But I think all I'd do is perhaps just a little bit more work in the shadows here. I um, also brought in a couple of other pictures. This is, well, it made me think that I've, I've done this painting quite a few years ago, and this was a pretty similar scene to this one. It's the same location, but this is how I, I would normally work, and this is just in a slightly more kind of broken paintwork, Van Gogh style, just you trying to pick up on the way he kind of makes these marks. Um, one thing that I noticed about the, one thing I noticed was, often he, he kind of outlines some of the some of the things like the figures are outlined or this wheelbarrow sometimes like the tree trunk so I thought I was trying to bring a little bit of that into it and it reminded me that the way he got his inspiration for that was he used to collect Japanese woodcuts you know, like the kind of wood, uh, prints Japanese woodblock prints not woodblocks so a lot of the impressionists were, were inspired by the Japanese wood, woodblock prints that came in the 19th century. So they used to collect these. So, so this would be a copy, or he's kind of copied one of the woodblock prints. And, um, and I think that's how, you know, that's quite influential on his style and developing that style of, style of painting. So that's um, a little bit on Van Gogh. Um, also quite like his drawings. So this is quite an interesting sort of example of one of his drawings. Um, and they, they're quite similar to the paintings in that he's got this very sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, very definite kind of mark making. So the whole picture is made up of all these little marks. Um, and in the drawing, sometimes he's made like little flowery marks, um, sort of squiggles, straight lines, dots. Um, and it's quite in inventive that the, he's not exactly shading, but he's come up with all these kind of inventive little marks to, to make the picture really. And I'm not really aware of other artists doing that too much or doing that in that way before Van Gogh. So I thought he's quite a good person to have a little look at. Um, and it also reminded me of some of um, David Hockney's drawings. And I just thought I'd show you some of these. Um, so David Hockney is an artist that, so, um, you know, he's still around today. David Hockney, is it? Some, got any fans? Yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, some people have really hated him this morning. Um, Perhaps it's one of the examples I had. <coughs> so I was thinking about some of these sketches, you, you know, that he's using just a few different different coloured pens and quite a range of different graphic marks to make up his image. So rather than just outlining and shading everything, you know, just using some sort of lively mark making is quite a nice way of, of drawing. So I thought that was worth having a look at. And he's definitely an artist that was influenced by Van Gogh. As well as other artists, you can see bits of Picasso and Matisse in there. Um, this is one of David Hockney's much earlier drawings, and um, it just reminds me, you know, looking through this book, that that that's the sort of thing that really inspired me to draw with pens. So I've drawn with pens for probably over twenty years now. And most of my sketches are in pen, rather than pencil, because I find pencil very difficult to use. Um, 
So, you know, I, I very much started off in this vein of a line drawing and just carefully drawing contours and edges. Um, and I remember reading about these years ago, he basically just goes straight in with a pen. He doesn't do any pencil under drawing and just really concentrates hard on, you know, the subject and the shapes and textures and things like that. Sometimes you see mistakes in there, but sometimes you don't notice them too much because most of the drawing is working and that's going to that goes well. Um, so I'll just show you a couple of my own sketches. So this was, I've got a couple of sketches here. So these would be the sort of examples of what I do. So I, sometimes, I don't always draw like this, but quite often I'll start off just with some lines and then I then start to add a little bit of tone. Um, and this is all pen. This is another one. This is a street scene I did the weekend before last. Uh, very, just quite a quick, sketchy one. Um, so basically do all the line work first. I tend to start with small details in the distance and work my way out. And then just a little bit, bit of tone really. Um, and I use pens in more of a, these, these greys are more of a tonal, rather than sort of making all sorts of different marks like Van Gogh would have done. I tend to just do blocks of lights and darks and things like that. So that's kind of how my drawing evolved. And then what I did after a while was I then went on to drawing in these pads, these kind of toned pads. Um, I don't know if I, so that, that would be an example of just the line work. Um, and oh, here's, this would be it. So that's a, a photocopy one you're drawing. So basically I do all the lines, then do some tones, and then I add bits of white chalk. And that just gives me some sort of highlights. So that's kind of, you know, I've, I've been inspired by different people and then that's kind of been how my own drawings evolved. Um, all right so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So I just do a little bit of pen work just to sort of show you that. But I was thinking something like the Van Gogh, um, you know, you could do, I mean in some ways it might be nice to just copy little bits of that or you could try and do some sort of interpretation in that style. So, I, will, I think in this case I'll just do a little bit of copy. I think we've lost the pen somewhere. Let's use that one. Yeah, so it could be, you know, so I'm just starting with a chimney here. Like that. Um, these would have been painted or drawn with a like dip on it. And a, a reed pen, which gives it a very definite quality, but you could get a similar sort of look with the modern felt pens. I'm just working my way down this building here. And sort of vertical marks on the chimney. So rather than like the traditional kind of hatching and cross hatching um, to develop tone, there's sort of a mixture of Sort of describing the shapes of things, but I, th I guess the way he, he draws quite densely, he's, he builds up tonal areas as well. So this must be, I don't know if this is reeds or something like that growing. Basically, sort of fills, fills the area. And we've got a building up here. So quite, and the other thing is you, you, you use these dots and in the distance he's got like little tiny dots and then I notice in the foreground he's got a way of making them quite, quite sort of stronger and dense and that gives the impression of them coming, coming forward. Um, also it's got lots, lots of little kind of, must be like pebbles and things like that in there. So there's lots of those sort of shapes. So anyway, that, I think that's quite a nice, uh, you know, quite a nice exercise if you wanted to move away from painting for a little bit, just try some drawing sketch. A bit of drawing, a bit of pen drawing. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. that's good. All right, okay. So anyway, yeah, different resources here.